Good morning and welcome to Dogman Homestead. Uh, I took the day off yesterday. Just kind of relaxed, rested, but we're back out here today uh, doing the screen. And all that's really left to do is this little short wall there. So let me take you around. We'll show you what we got going on. Got all four of these screens in. As you can see, uh, it doesn't really hamper your view, you know, to the outside, even though the screens are black. But let's come on outside here. I've got those complete. That's what she looks like with the caps on. You just take the like a ball, uh, a mallet, start at one end, start pounding them. I'll show you when I do the other side, putting the caps on. I just wanted to get this side done. I want to get this thing, the door built today, and get it screened in. And I may go up here and screw the rest of these uh, this roof down. These pieces aren't screwed down like they need to be and then I'm going to take care of this gap up here so well, what I've done this morning is uh, put the track on these windows here now you don't have to get a new strip every time you put one on you can use the pieces that way nothing goes to waste as long as you can get the spline in there it'll be fine so I went ahead and used the extra pieces I had laying around, made those work. Uh, I've got several of these tracks left. So next time I'm at Jeff's, I'm gonna look and see if he uh, he might want his porch screened in because I got enough to do it. All right, well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and cut the screen for all three of these, stick them in there, uh, and then we'll start splining them in. So I'll come back to you when I'm ready to start the splining. All right, got this one cut. Where's my spline tool? There it is. All right. Now I got a tip from a subscriber. If I do the top and then the bottom and then the sides last, the screen will get tighter. And he was right. The last, the other three I did are much tighter. And then I redid that first one that way. So. Thank you for that. See, I use people's advice. Roller in there. And this stuff's pretty darn easy to put up. I mean, you, you might have a few issues, but for the most part, there's nothing to it. That one guy made it seem a little harder than it actually is. Alright, so got the top one in. Oh yeah. Alright, let me cut a piece of spine from the bottom. Yeah, this stuff's a breeze to put up. Very, very impressed with it. And also this tool that you use to cut the track, very good for cutting the spine too. Right. Gotta get my knee pad. There it goes. Alright. Sorry about the air conditioner running on the last video, but wasn't gonna turn it off, you know. It's gonna be hot today, but today's the coolest day we'll have. It was really cool this morning. It's going to be 94 today, and then the rest of the week, oh, it's going to be miserable. All right, get this one started. All right, so I'm going to pull downward. I'm going to hold that. And if you see it bubbling up, you can always pull it back out. These only take a few minutes to do. It's very simple. Thank you. 
thinking of doing your own screens, I would highly recommend screen type. No, it ain't cheap. I think it's if I remember right for the for the caps and the track it was around three hundred dollars, but you get plenty. Uh, I could I could think of many projects I could use it for. All right, I'm gonna do this side first. Let me move you guys in a little. I know the other side's for doing that. I tried that. I'd rather do it this way. It's not that hard and I can get the screen tighter. Alright. I'm going to pull this way and downward. Actually. I don't have the other side done yet, so everything will get pulled out there. I see how that bagged up down there. I don't know if you guys can see it. I'm going to pull that back out. It's probably hard to see what I'm doing. I could wear my uh, harness. You'll get your little struggles. <laughs> I'm just going to work the way down one of those. See, you got a wrinkle. Sometimes you get up against the wall like I'm doing here. It's, it can be a little difficult. I'm going to have to peel that bottom loose a little. Ah.
just tight. Good. We don't get any more of them freaky storms we've been getting. All right, guys, there's one down. Okay, we're gonna put these caps on. Pretty simple. And I think we'll start here. I've already trimmed the screen. All you do with this is pound it in. Have a rubber mallet or light dead blow. Horsefly, are you that stupid? Got a little bit of screen hanging out, it'll cover it. Well, come to little clear it goes. $18. These things don't cut very well. There we go. Alright, now I got scraps that'll go across. Here, grab one here real quick. I wouldn't call them scraps, but in pieces. They're cut off pieces. All right, so come on, tape measure. 31, 31 and a quarter. Top one or the bottom one. It shouldn't, it shouldn't matter. It should be the same. There we go. And this will kind of want to move away. And when you get to the end, you can move it over there. to it I haven't decided what I'm doing up here yet I may put a screen up on this part I don't know we'll have to wait and see won't we and there's that one 
So we got these two left to do. Get on the door and then figure out what to do after that. Plenty to do. Just seeing how the heat is. It's not real, real humid today, but it's hot. But man, I really like this stuff. It is going to be nice having this all screened in. Rooster's waiting. She wants to come out and sit out here. Might have to build her another window stoop. Yeah, that way she gets different views in the back. And that's bugging me up there. I got to get that T111 on there. Oh, the rain blew the tarp off the T111. It's all curled up like a potato chip. So I hope I can still use it. I got two sheets left. Man, the weather is like your enemy here. That one there, I got to beat upwards. All right, guys, I'm going to go take a quick lunch, come back, finish these other two windows, and then get started on that door so I can get this enclosed. I'll be All back. All right. All the screen windows are done. And I have figured out what I want to do up here. Unfortunately, I don't have enough 2 by 4s And I don't have any hinges for the door, so I'm not going to build it today. It's hot. I'm going to go ahead and take a nap, man. That's what sounds good to me right now. Uh, those come out good. So, we're going to call the screens good for now. I might might put one up. I think I'm putting one up there. Uh, and I've got to get some rocks put in here. Because every time it rains, it's splashing that dirt right onto that T111. That's going to make it hard to clean. So, maybe in the morning I'll come out here and fill that in with rocks. I probably need to dig it out a little better. Uh, yeah, that last storm we had it just blew the rain straight in there I don't really know how to even fix that I mean I've got plenty of overhang here and like I said we never get we never get rain coming out of the south hell we never get it coming out of the north but that's twice not three times that's happened came out of the north twice and and it blew that door open blew that door open I didn't have it shut very good and uh, that floor just got soaked in there <sighs> it's always something so anyway uh, if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe give me a like click the notifications all that good stuff and uh, we'll get back to this build tomorrow uh, I just ain't got much energy today I don't know what it is took a day off and should be well rested but I just ain't got no interest. I got no interest or energy. So I'm gonna go take a nap. Happy trails.